As you can see, this lock is crying, it's begging for help, it's hurting, it's hurting. So I'm going to reinforce the weak spot in this lock so that it can survive another day. I'm gonna put knots on the weak spot and reinforce it and give it some strength. This spot looks like it needs more than one knot. It may need three or four. So gently knot it and make sure the knot goes right on top of the weak spot. Gently tug it so it's nice and tight. And then keep going, making as many knots as you need. Make sure you put the knots as close together as you possibly can. Be careful and do not knot on top of the other knot because you will leave your lock looking lumpy like I did right here. But don't worry, it's repairable. Just keep going and make sure not to make the mistake again. So I made another knot and I put it right next to the previous knot. I'm pushing the knots close together as close as I can so that it looks like a continuous lock instead of some knots sitting together. And I periodically I'll palm roll it so that it smoothens out. I'm going to try to place one more knot and if you find that the placement of your knot is not working, don't try to force it, just undo it and try again, like I'm doing right here, just undo it. It's okay. You want this to look right, so take your time. Here we go. So I have three knots, well four if you count my boo-boo and now it's time for the fifth knot remember to be sure to put all the knots together as tight as you can without straining your lock make sure the knots are close together as close as you can and make sure to palm roll it okay palm roll it so that it looks like a continuous lock instead of a series of knots you can palm roll it or you can just use your fingers and roll it now as you can see the lock that i repaired was one of the heads of a two-headed dragon lock if you don't know what that is basically a couple years ago i combined two very thin locks together to make one and i left the ends of the locks separate so it's one big lock for most of the length and then there's two locks on the end so right now i'm just two strand twisting them together so that they're reinforced some more the trick with two strand twisting you want to make sure that you roll each lock clockwise before you actually twist that's what keeps the locks together when you let go make sure to twist the locks this in the same direction and then twist them together Hope that makes sense. If not, leave me a comment and I'll make a two strand twist tutorial. I really hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.